Hey guys, Grassman here, and today we're gonna do we're going to beat um we're gonna beat a normal difficulty plague ink without evolving symptoms. And you probably know where this is going. There's only one. There's really only like one way to win without evolving symptoms. So we're gonna go main game, virus, normal. Um, <laughs> that's what I named it yesterday. What do we name? What do we name the disease? Um. God, come on, I need a name. I, I suck at naming snakes. Snakes. Okay, um, where do snakes live? Africa? Well, certain Central Africa, sure. Snakes probably live there. Snakes. Normally I start in China. Really starting most anywhere is good. Um, you know, there's places like, you know, like, it's always going to be hard to start in Greenland, but for the most part, it's fine to start anywhere. Um, I can't, like, speed the game up or anything, but it shouldn't take, it shouldn't actually take that long. So, basically, we are not evolving any symptoms at all. So, the game is in complete control. Um, but all we're doing is triple viral instability immediately. So first one, violent instability. So it costs five, and then it costs six, and then it costs eight. So, uh, it's two, we just need one more. So immediately, the first thing, three things we get are three viral instabilities. There we go. Viral instability two, and the next one costs eight. So we're five away. Snakes begin to spread. Nausea mutated. Okay, we're just waiting. Just waiting for it to start going. I will start getting, um... Major black hole, not a concern, says scientists. Depends, where is it? So next we start getting trans transmission now. We only got 30 infected, but we immediately are, like, more unstable than... What's unstable? Nobelium? Sure, we're more unstable than Nobelium. Uh, livestock's, livestock is good. So we've already mutated rash, that also helps infectivity. So we got nausea at some point. So triple viral instability. Every like 30 seconds to a minute, we're going to get another thing. So we are incredibly quickly evolving symptoms. And it is easy, it is like definitely possible to just immediately get those three, and then just let them do your entire symptom tree. By the end, you will have almost the entire symptom tree done, and you'll have just destroyed them. I played this on normal yesterday, it's incredibly like it's super easy. Because you just let it do all the symptoms just randomly, and you're just getting transmission abilities. All of your DNA, and you get, you get more DNA, because you're um, because having symptoms unlocks severity, and the higher your severity, the more DNA you get. The so symptoms increase severity. Severity, the higher your severity, the more DNA you get, and then you can put all the DNA into just abilities and transmissions. So you can get both really high up the skill tree, and viral instability three will just automatically do your whole symptoms all by itself. So it's incredibly strong. So we're starting to infect people faster. Um, probably should have gone somewhere like China or something, but... I mean, COVID started out of China. Give it a break. Give him a break. I mean, this world, this game, this game, like, starts on the exact day you start on, actually. So, like, the day, the day that this started on is actually the current, like, day today. Whatever it is today. July something. West Africa, there we go. I think it's like 8 or 9 when you have the next one. Snakes, in fact, vex thousands. Thousands of people have been bitten by snakes. You know, just it's just like 15,000 people that have been bitten by snakes and don't even notice. Totally normal. Ah, oh, it's 11, wow. Okay, we're at 24,000, that's uh, Libya. Snakes infecting more countries. I'm gonna turn off 
the extra pop-ups, and the auto-pause game. Now doing this, it'll keep running the background. It'll allow it to go slightly faster. We're also gonna get, we aren't, we aren't gonna get a whole ton of pop, extra pop-ups. Amnia muted. So apparently this is what we, they've got. They've already got five different ones. I'm gonna want drug resistance, resistance soon, but for now, Africa's, they won't have the, they don't have like, they're, they're poorer, poorer nations. They don't have the drug resistance. It's not until we get to Europe, North America, Australia, possibly Russia. Um, for Russia and Canada, I'll also need cold resistance. You know what I realized? That is like... If you look at Canada, that is like not at all how Canada actually looks. Hemophilia, nice. Like, Canada has a whole bunch of islands at one point. Um, there is the one big island, but the whole like... There's a whole just connected bit there instead of it being split up into a whole bunch of islands. There's that like one big island, but then all the smaller ones are missing. There's supposed to be like a tree of other islands. Okay, we're at 13 million. The majority of all, if it's of all just Central Central Africa. 20, like, 37 in the world. There's 7,000 that aren't in Central Africa. And those are pretty much all in Libya. Oh, no. Uh, where else are they? Oh, they're in West Africa. New minor disease spreading. death in Central Africa. What do we get that's deadly? Hemophilia. Tumors. It evolved. See, it, it just randomly starts evolving things and it'll just do whatever it wants. And you get, like, found out super fast, but because of all the extra, like, stuff, the severity goes up giving you more DNA for transmission and, like, anti-drug resistance and genetic reshuffles. And the, um... And what's it called? And the infectivity goes up, which makes you spread everywhere faster. And then the death eventually just has to evolve dead, deathly ones. There's only, there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's only fourteen ones. Texas vote to ban guns, really? That's totally unrealistic. Unrealistic. Paranoia muted. There are only fourteen ones that can actually that are like actually exist. There's only fourteen that exist that could pass that are not deadly. Everything else is deadly. There's, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 deadly ones. Now we're spreading a lot. So there's 14 non-deadly ones, 15 deadly ones, so it has to evolve deadly ones at some point. And see here, it's already got tumors. We have, like, the insomnia and paranoia is, are really good ones to have, and it just evolved those itself. And so now it's like, it's like racked, racked up 400,000 deaths already. This is almost as many deaths as there are in, like, in the U.S. in, from COVID. Systemic infection. So we're all around Africa. Um, I should increase, like, I should get the second boat one so we can start infecting, like, other places. Because we got Brazil there. And we're starting to tr creep out into Asia as well. We haven't hit Europe or North America, though. Um, the U.S. and Japan both send a lot of planes everywhere. Saudi Arabia is a central point, and we are now in there. Take drug resistance. Banks record record profit. Not for long! I mean, I don't know how. I've infected, like, almost a billion people in just, Af in, like, the entirety of Africa. Other than, like, that's coma. Yeah, that's one of the worst ones. Coma is one of the central ones, so that and total organ failure. So already we could possibly evolve total organ failure just like that. There goes Spain. I think that's Iraq, yeah. Rodent. So we're just like totally evolving those two symptoms are going all, 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 all by themselves. So now the infection is slowing down. We're only getting a couple million per day because we've got like, we got all the big spots in Africa. I need cold resistance now that I'm there. Now that we hit Japan. Now we're really starting to hit places. Looks like Brazil had something happen there. Cold resistance. Get the other air. Want to evolve, not devolve. There's Australia now. Yeah, now we're going from Saudi Arabia everywhere. That's what it is. Get genetic hardening. 
still gonna take over a year. We've already got 14% of the world's population. Get the other water. And just 10 minutes in, we're doing really good. Got 15%. We have all of Africa. We're highly in South America. Total organ... Total organ failure already. Lethality is incre just jumped incredibly high. Severity, too. Severity is so high right now. For a stealth game where you're playing, like, stealthy, it's really hard to, like, get sever to get DNA because your severity is, is just so low. But you can see, like, how I'm getting, like, 3 DNA here and 3 DNA there. Even when I'm not touching the red bubbles, I'm just getting, like, b bunches of DNA. That's from the severity. And that's the good thing about this. It's just getting so many symptoms that your severity goes up cr incredibly high and you get all this extra DNA to do whatever you want with. Plus, you don't have to save anything for symptoms, it just does symptoms alone. The one threat is if I, like, get one guy in Greenland and then he, I get unlucky and then he immediately dies of total organ failure or something. Get drug resistance. So global research focused on cure. There's, there's sweating. Is that sweating or...? Yeah, it's sweating. I was wondering if that was sweating or seizures. We already got we already got seizures, I think. No, we don't have seizures yet. There's genetic hardening too. Ah, uh, we're fucked. Iceland's closed. Okay, so surprisingly, we didn't spread fast enough. We actually I'll have to do this again. We actually lost because Iceland closed. And I'm pretty sure, like even with an extreme bioaerosol. I can get the birds and stuff, but I, th I think because Iceland closed, we can't get to them. I don't think it's possible to infect Iceland or Greenland. So, the problem was, we started in Africa. We're still gonna have, like, we're still gonna have boost and stuff. We still hit China. We're still gonna travel through Europe. We're still gonna hit China. We're gonna get most of the world, but we're gonna miss the islands. Greenland's also shut now. New Zealand shut. Um, Australia's shut, but they are infected. I can try and get, like, I have to get the sheep as well for livestock for 24. So, I started in China last time and it worked. Here it didn't work because they closed too soon. Because I couldn't spread fast enough. I ended up getting, like, all of Africa and all of South America and then the entire Middle East. Extreme Zoonosis might be the other one. I think it is sometimes possible to actually infect those ones, but things like the fungus, you're able to get them. If you save some of your fungal bursts. Hypersensitivity. So we're still going to get, like, most of the mainland world. Um, we do have to wait for it to spread a bit more in Canada. It's just so lethal now, it's killed, like, it kills a third of its hosts before they're able to spread it like, much. But you can see, like, infected bees through the roof, severity is super high. I think the bad thing was we got total organ failure, and then it scared everyone into closing. The cure normally isn't a threat. See, we're at 77%. We've killed 6 billion people. I have no idea when that happened. So, like, we're doing... We're doing really good. Fever. The only problem is we got total organ failure too soon, which scared everyone, and we couldn't spread fast enough. Africa couldn't get up into Europe fast enough. If it were China, we would have very quickly ended up all over the world and then spread like crazy from there. Problem is, with Africa, it just went so slow at the beginning, it gave them time to prepare and time to get ready to close. So, next time, next time I'll try it starting from China, and we should be able to do better. So, next time I'll start from either, like, China or Saudi Arabia, and we'll be able to get it from there. Normally, it's, normally this is very easy. I very rarely lose from it. Sweden is infected. I think most of the world's gonna go down, other than, like, Caribbean, Greenland, Iceland, New Zealand, and Philippines. It's these guys. It's, it's just those five islands that didn't get infected. Everyone, everyone else is infected. Fi pulmonary fibrosis. They're, it's, it's too long to get it. They're just, it's just going to take a while for a them to act actually die. But you can see, like, this symptom tree is nuts. We still haven't developed coughing, but we went all the way through, got total organ failure, and now we're going out the other end with pulmonary fibrosis. So, like, we got, look at all this, tons of transmission, tons of abilities, we got, like, all of them. And the symptoms just went by themselves. That's the amazing thing about getting the random mutation just first, and letting them carry us. That's really what was carrying us, but... Yeah. 
And our, our um, infected are dropping now. Because we're there's some countries where we're just fully there. Um, we're still waiting until... We're now blooming in Canada. So now we're just going to get everyone and the death is going to... Dead are going to follow very quickly. Find a cure. No. Seizures. There's seizures. All the they like, they get it and then they die like less than a week later. If can't if like, if they just shut down, how is it only widespread disorder? How is it only close to anarchy? Three quarters of the population are dead. Like I think half the people died be anarchy. Or almost anarchy. Like, I guess if it's saying, like, close to anarchy, as in there's some system of government left. That gap is closing fast, though. It's only 100,000 infect 100, infected per day. Kind of surprising they might get some people to survive out of it. I think Australia died. Yeah, Australia's gone. Sweden is still taken. Sweden's dead. Immune suppression. Canada surprisingly might actually live here. That's just because of the incredibly high... Like, in infectivity is, like, all the way up there. I've got all the drug resistance, all the cold resistance. Like, I could've got heat resistance and then the... The complete, like, preventing of it. But surprisingly... Canada actually had a few million people survive. Because of how lethal it was. I think... Is Canada my last place infected? Yes, that's it! Everywhere... Five island countries didn't get it and survived. Everywhere else is dead. And Canada is the last remaining place. And, like, they've, like, water supply shut down. I think they must have taken, like, every single... They must have taken, like, every single precaution to have managed to save three million people. I don't think with this much infectivity, I've ever seen a country actually somehow survive with... Somehow survive something like that. So only five places didn't get it, and then Canada somehow had three, peop three million people survive. I don't think I have ever seen a country do that. I don't think I've ever seen a country get it, have that high of infectivity, and still prevent it. That is, that like, I mean, congratulations, Canada. That is the, that is the first time I think I've ever seen the infectivity, the infectivity be that high, and them still resist it completely, partially. Like, I was at 25% infected, and it, like, like, I was starting to bloom, and it didn't just bloom all the way like it normally does. It went slowly, slowly, and eventually actually died out, which I've never seen. Usually it blooms immediately, and then the, the, the deaths follow. But it just, like, it kind of stayed moving and then just shrunk. So, I'm going to have to play this again with doing China next time. Yeah, so we'll have to do that next time. Maybe I'll just do that later. I'll, uh, I'll have to do it with China. We'll start there. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you like my content, feel free to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. We'll do it later with China.